When I'm evaluating a proposal for um, sustainability, I'm looking for kind of a holistic strategy that um, includes things like digital preservation of the assets, um, operational sustainability, uh, financial sustainability of the organization, and in the really good proposals, we see a kind of social sustainability or a social contract. It takes a combination of a robust policy framework, institutional commitment of resources, both monetary and personnel, and the appropriate appropriate technological infrastructure. Your work plan should reference best practices and standards such as FAGI, OAIS, POWER, and PREMISE. Think about how your longevity plan ad addresses the various functions outlined in the OAIS reference model. I often see applications that present solid information regarding the digital reformatting process, such as technical specs that cover the capture of audio or video content. But information on the long-term preservation of these digital files will be missing some crucial details. Fortunately, there are lots of ways for you to become more familiar with digital preservation concepts. In addition to reaching out to others for guidance, there are handy and very accessible resources created by groups like the Digital Power Team, AV Preserve, and the Digital Preservation Coalition. These resources can help you get started in implementing a plan that covers the core digital preservation concepts and activities. This includes fixity checks, the creation of preservation metadata, and format migration. Reviewers are not familiar with the uh, intricate details of the preservation software that uh, applicants are using in their uh, digital preservation solutions. And so as much information and detail as applicants can provide uh, about that, uh, the easier it is for um, reviewers to connect those dots in what can be very complex uh, digital preservation strategies. It's really important to customize and tailor uh, the details of your preservation strategy to uh, both the grant and um, the architecture that you've set up. Using boilerplate language is a, is a pretty clear indication that um, the understanding and awareness of the complexity of digital preservation uh, may not be um, there in the proposal. Some of the things that applicants can do are attend uh, conferences, uh, attend organizational budget meetings, um, and try to get a better sense of uh, some of the financial context, uh, some of the preservation context of um, what is timely and current in, in the field of digital preservation. Don't feel as if you have to reinvent the wheel. Consider using existing technology or outsourcing for your project. If you do decide to create new systems or insource with a significant equipment purchase, be sure to justify your decision and show reviewers that you've done your homework. You need to demonstrate that there is a high level of institutional commitment behind your project. Digital preservation is an ongoing process and one grant is not going to solve everything. Institutional buy-in can, of course, be demonstrated by showing your digital preservation infrastructure, staffing, your history of undertaking similar projects, the adoption of appropriate standards and workflows. But don't forget that it can also be shown through work you've done with your local communities and or groups related to your collections. I like to see an application that wants to point a spotlight on a collection of national scholarly interest particularly one that documents a community or culture that is under-resourced in some way. When these marginalized collections are brought to light, they have the power to alter the future. So content is king. After that, the best proposals I have read are formed out of new partnerships uh, from institutions of unequal sizes and perspectives. There is something really special about these kinds of mutually beneficial collaborations. For me, the most exciting applications are those that represent true collaborations. Each partner brings something to the table and learns and grows through the collaboration. No one partner dominates the decision making. I love to see applicants build in regular time for communication and reflection throughout the project. 